solve. 32 is what percent of 20? Now, there are many ways you can go about solving this. First, we can write out the number sentence. We have the number 32, and the word is always stands for equals. So, 32 equals. Next, we have what percent. This is what we are trying to figure out. So, we will write a variable n. And finally, we have the word of. In math, of means multiplication. So, we will write n times 20. We will then solve this equation to find the unknown variable. In this case, since we are multiplying, we will divide 20 from both parts of the number sentence. On this side, the 20 equal each other out, and we are left with a letter n. n equals 32 divided by 20. This will equal to 1.6. In order to find the percent, we just move the decimal over to the right twice, and the answer is 160%. Or, we can use this formula to solve this math sentence. We put the word is divided by or on top of the word of. So basically a fraction with is on top and of on the bottom. This fraction will written as percent over 100. So memorize this formula is of percent 100. Let's look at the number 32. Where would it go on this formula? Since we are reading 32 is, that means we are replacing the word is on this formula with 32. Next, they want to know what percent? We do not know this yet, so where we see the percent on the formula, we will write a variable and use the letter n. n as in Nancy. And finally, we have of 20. So where we see the word of, we will replace with 20. And now we can solve this by multiplying proportionately. First, we always multiply diagonally wherever we see numbers. In this case, we can multiply diagonally 32 times 100. We cannot multiply 20 times n. We only multiply wherever we have numbers. So, let's multiply. 32 times 100 is 3,200. We will then take this number and divide it by whatever number is left. In this sentence, we only have the number 20. So, 3,200 divided by 20 will equal 160. And we write the percent symbol, and this is the answer. Let us do another one and notice how this number sentence is written slightly different. 52 is 25% of what number? We will use the is of percent 100 formula again. And let's look at the phrase 52 is. Wherever we see the word is on the fraction, we will replace it with the number 52. Next, we see 25%. And we will replace the percent symbol on this fraction with the number 25. Next, we see of what number? This is what we are trying to figure out. So, wherever we see the word of, we will write the variable n. n is for Nancy. And that is it. We can now solve by multiplying proportionately. And we multiply diagonally wherever we see numbers. In this case, we can multiply diagonally 52 times 100. That will equal 5,000. 200. We will then take 5,200 and divide it by the remaining number. The only number left is 25. So let's divide this. 5,200 divided by 25 will equal 208. There is no need for the percent symbol because we are not finding the percent, but we are finding the factor. Let's do another one, and this time the question will read, what is 85% of 80? Same thing, we will use the is of percent and 100 formula. What is is something we have to solve so where we see the word is, we will write the variable n. n as in Nancy. Next, we see the 85% and we will transfer 85 to where the percent symbol is. And finally, we see the word of 80. Notice the word of. And we will transfer the number 80 to where the word of is in the formula. Let's solve by multiplying proportionately. We will multiply diagonally wherever we see numbers. In this case, we have factors of 80 and 85. 80 times 85 will equal to 6,800. We will divide this number by the only remaining number, which is 100, and this will equal to 68. 